One February morning, I packed some willow in a suitcase and flew to Porto Spain in Trinidad to make a community heart to install on a lamppost in a street called Ariapita Avenue during Carnival. A week or so later, I found myself standing beside the main stage on the savannah, holding my freshly made heart as Moko Jumbies posed for photos. From amongst the crowd, a man ran over and grabbed me. He knew what we did in Labrook Grove. I was gobsmacked. He said he was from Kensal Rise and that him and his friends came every year. I was in the middle of Carnival in Port of Spain in Trinidad. This was when I realised that the symbol I created had reached far beyond its roots in Labrook Grove. Two years previously, I committed my first love crime by installing a four metre high community heart onto the middle of a lamppost on Labrook Grove on Carnival Sunday morning. A love crime is the opposite of a hate crime. Inspired by Carnival, I created the heart as a love letter to my home of 15 years in Labrook Grove. I had a hundred badges printed. Those first badges had black outlines around the outside of the symbol. With four friends, we put on our badges and high-vis jackets and carried the heart to the middle of the road as the police watched us. We didn't have a ladder long enough, so we planned that my friend would climb to the top of the ladder with a rope attached to a tennis ball and throw it over the top so he could pull the heart into place. As he got to the top of the ladder, I felt a hand on my shoulder and turned to see a policeman in my face. Immediately terrified, I thought I was in trouble. What's he doing? Tell him to come down. It doesn't look safe. Now I knew I was in trouble. You stay here. I'll throw it over. I shouted to my friend that the policeman was going to help us just as my friend threw the ball over the top of the lamppost and as the police watched we pulled the heart into place. That weekend the heart touched the souls of millions of carnival goers. Such was the power of the community heart that a policeman offered to aid and abet my first Labrook Grove love crime. And here's the lesson. Reach out with your heart, reach out with your art and the ripples will continue. That was the same year that, along with my partner Matthew, we took over the running of the historic Irish pub, the KPH, or the Kensington Park Hotel, as the last community-run pub in Labrook Grove. I loved working that bar. It was 360 degrees around and you never knew from one moment to the next who might walk in the door. It could be a retired gangster or a famous musician or anyone and everybody in between. This extraordinary arrangement was only supposed to last a couple of weeks, but for four glorious months we sailed that pub like the beautiful ship she was, with a colourful crew of staff and customers. I wore my badge behind the bar and I gave badges out from behind the bar, with live music, food from the Grove Fish Bar and a be nice or leave policy on the door, we soon became the beating heart of the neighbourhood. But sadly, this wasn't to last as the pub was sold to a group of investors. But to this day, a community heart hangs on the walls of the KPH in the hope that it will be community run one day again. Reach out with your heart, reach out with your art and the ripples will continue. Soon after the sale, the event happened that was to change the heart and soul of our neighbourhood forever. The fire at Grenfell Tower. In the aftermath of such a shocking tragedy, it felt like everybody did whatever they could to help. Donations of food and clothing flooded into our area. If you were a lawyer, you offered legal advice. If you were a cook, you cooked. I'm an artist. My instinct was to fill our streets with as much love as possible and to encourage others to do the same. I bought some pavement chalk from Poundland and I started chalking hearts on the street and I started to make hearts. I had some willow and materials left over from a school project and in the chaotic days that followed I would walk to a small park between the pub and the tower and set up on the grass to start making. I'm not sure if this was my way of processing what had happened or just that I didn't know what else to do. I wanted to make 24 hearts, one for each floor of the tower. As I finished a heart I stuck it on the railings along the edge of the park and each day I returned to the same spot at the same time to keep making. In the days that followed, I was joined by Matthew and our wonderful KPH crew and people from all walks of life joined us in the park to make hearts. As each heart was finished, we stuck it on the railings. Each heart told a story. 
Each heart was a memory of our time spent together in the park as we all tried to come to terms with what had happened. And as the days and weeks went by, those 24 hearts turned into hundreds. Along the edge of the park, we grew a wall of community love. And as the wall of hearts grew, a transformation took place in the park. People helped paint walls, paint benches, weed paths, pick up rubbish. What had been known locally as Dog Poo Park, right by the motorway, had turned back into something more deserving of the title, Maxilla Gardens. Reach out with your heart, reach out with your art, and the ripples will continue. As the summer progressed, we were approached by Leslie Teacher Palmer to make decorations for the stage at the Notting Hill Carnival Pioneers Community Festival. Leslie, a carnival pioneer himself, was the first and possibly only member of our Labyrinth Grove community to wear a community harp when he collected an honour from the Queen. It drew quite a smile from her, apparently. At least that's the way Les told it to us in the pub. We decided on a giant grass root for the stage and big hero hearts to honour carnival pioneers throughout the years. As carnival approached, we went green for Grenfell and made giant grass roots and hearts and flowers to decorate Labyrinth Grove. And we worked with a local children's carnival band to make 200 hearts to send out on the road with the extraordinary heart-tailed Tiffany bird. Green hearts continue to send out love to everyone affected by Grenfell. Our hearts have walked silently in our streets each month as we remember the loved ones we lost. Our hearts have marched to Downing Street to call for justice and change. Our hearts have brought us together. Our hearts give us hope. Reach out with your heart, reach out with your art, and the ripples will continue. Over the years, our annual community arts project has become the high point of many of our summers. For Carnival 2018, we created Tropical Avenue, which saw giant plants and flowers draped over buildings and lampposts in Labrick Grove. And in 2019, Butterfly Dawn, which saw 50 giant butterflies perched on North Kensington Library. We have big plans for 2020. The year began with our first workshops in Killarney in Ireland, making bees with local children to decorate Main Street for St. Patrick's Day. And we had plans to deliver a six week programme of making in Maxilla Gardens in the summer. But coronavirus hit. That meant our final St. Patrick's Day workshop was cancelled and our bees went into lockdown along with the rest of the world. It also meant we couldn't meet in Maxilla Gardens in the summer, so we delivered our project online. Even online, you can reach out with your heart, reach out with your art, and the ripples will continue. We created tutorials, teaching people how to make hearts and then bees and then butterflags, which is an elaborate growth twist on a butterfly, out of willow and paper. Art packs were delivered to people's doors and bubbles of creativity popped up in homes and gardens across North Kensington. For the first time in 50 years, our carnival was cancelled. In Trinidad, there's a phrase, carnival to banker. To banker is an extreme sadness or depression following one's breakup from one's love. As a community, we were all feeling the absence of carnival but it poured into our creativity. And for one glorious week at the end of the summer, we transformed the entire front face of our library with an incredible swarm of bees and butterflies. Then in the autumn, we grew the world's first community tree under the motorway next to Maxilla Gardens. Each leaf on this six metre tall structure is a heart made by somebody to thank somebody. So it stands as a thank you from our community to our community on the site of our original heart. Then in the winter, a galaxy of wishing stars illuminated the canopy above a deserted Portobello market. Our elaborate grove bees inspired a St. Patrick's Day installation this year. For the second year, the parade in Kalani was cancelled, but this year the children's bees came out of lockdown to swarm up a tower in the middle of the town. In the centre of the tower was a heart wrapped in a sprouting trinity knot to remind us that life goes on no matter what. The bees were to thank the key worker bees for keeping us safe in a pandemic year and the butterflies represent transformation after a time of endurance. Eight shamrocks stretched up 
the height of the tower made up of 24 green hearts. Reach out with your heart, reach out with your art and the ripples will continue. In an upside down year, our art has kept us together whilst apart. In Labrick Grove, we've upskilled our community of makers. Last month, we grew an upside down garden for upside down times in the roof of the Portobello canopy. If you walk down to Portobello Market, I'd invite you to take a stroll under and gaze up in wonder at our garden made with love from above. I'm so proud of our community, a community of artists. It's not a coincidence that this story has walked, marched, danced through the streets of Trinidad, Labrick Grove and now Killarney, because this is something that everyone can do to light up their streets and bring people together. That's at the heart of community art. The community heart will be five years old this summer. It comes from Labrick Grove and it belongs to Labrick Grove. If you own a community badge of your own, it will have been given to you for the part you've played in this story. So thank you. And whilst I wouldn't want to push my luck with the police to encourage you to commit your first love crime, I would ask you to make a heart or a bee or a butterfly. Reach out with your heart, reach out with your art, and the ripples will continue.